from the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your afternoon update. Dennis's Heating and Air Conditioning is Northern California's premier heating and air conditioning contractor. From residential housing, large commercial projects, installation to repair, sheet metal fabrication, and everything in between, we are your go-to heating and air conditioning specialist. Good afternoon, everyone. Just want to give you a quick reminder that I do my most extensive fire coverage for any of the current fires here, typically uh, during Coffee with Kruger at 7 o'clock in the morning. This is a live broadcast that I do uh, that goes out on all of my streaming platforms. Also, on top of that, at 6 a.m., I do the recorded version. Uh, that is also when I kind of go into the fire. Usually at noon and in the afternoon, unless something major, uh, there's a major outbreak, I don't typically do a whole lot of fire coverage, although I still kind of talk about the smoke forecast and things of that nature that don't have that you can kind of look at the forecast of that here but also want to remind you that throughout the day you can always go to weathernorcal.com and then click on the fire section you can kind of you can hover over to kind of the main menu where it says more of the fires or you can just click here on the fire danger uh, image here and that'll give you all of the information that you need all right let's go and take a look at your headlines for today the cooling trend continues into the weekend so yes cooler weather is in store for us with a chance for showers friday night Slightly warmer to start off the uh, second half of the weekend into early next week with a chance for more rain by the middle of next week. And of course, those cooler temperatures too. Your neighborhood forecast at a glance, there's going to be some smoke and haze out there that we are seeing in parts of the valley. That'll probably be the case through the afternoon. Otherwise, on top of that, we do have some cloud cover out there for pretty much everyone too. Temperature is only reaching though the 80s for those daytime highs in the valley. All right, let's talk about that smoke forecast because that certainly has been kind of the talk of the valley here throughout the morning hours. So essentially what happened this morning is, and quite honestly, this is a bit of a surprise, but we did see a bit of a north wind early this morning that did help to push some of the smoke from the shoe fire down into the valley. And that's why it was so smoky. And that's why we did see that decreased uh, air quality out there as well. What we're going to see throughout the day today, you see how the winds are shifting more from the south. That will at least start to help improve conditions through the afternoon. However, I still expect to see a lot of that smoke through the rest of the afternoon and even into the evening hours. But by tonight, I'm expecting a lot of this smoke to kind of shift northward. Here's 10 o'clock tonight. We're still seeing a little bit of haze, maybe a little bit of smoke out there, especially for the north end of the valley with more dense smoke in eastern Siskiyou County and a good portion of Modoc County as well. Then we go into tomorrow morning and you can see what's happening is it kind of settles on top of itself. We do see a bit of a north wind again early tomorrow morning. Now this model keeps it just north of the valley, but I wouldn't be surprised if we started the morning off, especially around the Reading area, and is the, especially in the Reading area, maybe seeing some of that smoke for Friday morning. As you head south towards Red, uh, Red Bluff, Corning, Chico, most likely at this point, you won't see as much smoke as we've seen here today. All right, let's take you into Friday afternoon. And again, those winds shift more from the south. So that should keep most of that smoke to our north as we go into Friday afternoon. And there you can see again where most of that smoke will be is in eastern Siskiyou County and most likely even into western uh, Modoc County as well. That's Friday at 5 p.m. So conditions tomorrow may not be as bad as what we're seeing out there for today. All right, let's take a look at the fire weather risk and we take a look at the winds of one of the factors here. The winds, pretty typical afternoon breezes that we are seeing. Stronger winds though for the valley in particular as we go into Friday afternoon because of the approaching storm system but the humidity levels are going up at that point. We take you into Saturday, those winds should start to die down as we go into Saturday afternoon. So the other factor that we look at is the humidity. So we're in the mid to even upper teens for the valley today. That certainly is a help, uh, and, but you can see they do lower later this afternoon. All right, let's take you into your Friday and you can see again, just a little bit higher. Now we're in the upper teens in the afternoon and Saturday, uh, boy, yeah, we're talking about 30% or higher for many of us in the valley. And of course, it's going to be even higher as you head off into the eastern mountains as well. So improving conditions here and decreasing that fire weather risk here. So despite, of course, some of the, the, uh, the uh, smoke that many of you are seeing in the valley, we've got some clouds overhead as well. More coming in behind that. This right here is the main storm system I've got my eyes on that'll be here by Friday night and into Saturday. But based on future casts, let's take a look at what our chances are 
are looking like as far as rain is concerned. There's Friday morning, you're still looking at dry conditions and I still expect to see even a little bit of cloud cover out there as well. You see how the storm system is approaching, but even at 5 p.m., even the coast is still dry. So it'll be a dry day across the board through the day on Friday. But then by Friday night, we do see that rain hit the coast. Del Norte, Humboldt County, and even Western Siskiyou County, but still dry for everyone else, even at Friday at 10 o'clock at night. But then overnight, early morning hours on Saturday, here's Saturday at 2 a.m., you can see a round of rain and some decent rain too for Trinity County, parts of uh, Siskiyou County as well, and even making its way into the north end of the valley, especially Redding, maybe Red Bluff, getting in on some of this as well. Once this band kind of starts to break apart, you can see here, 6 a.m. on Saturday, it's now moving through Modoc County, but look at behind it. Things are really breaking apart. We still have the clouds. We still have a chance for a few sprinkles, especially for the first half of the day on Saturday, but by Saturday afternoon, most of that that rain is gone minus maybe a stray sprinkle here and there and even some clearing for the valley by Saturday afternoon. So the rainfall totals coming out of this first system do look to be most impressive off to the west as expected even into Trinity County and western Siskiyou County. It is showing more for Redding than say places like Chico. I do think we may see the potential of some very light accumulation in parts of Redding but as you head to the south most likely seeing nothing to maybe upwards of a trace uh, at most. And then you can see as you head to the north and east, you're just not seeing much, if anything at all at that point. So let's take a look at the longer range. We see things begin to dry out and warm up for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday as high pressure kind of starts to settle in. But when I say warm up, we're not talking 90s of the valley. We're still talking 80s for those daytime highs. Then on Wednesday into Thursday, there you can see that first system coming in on Wednesday, also pretty weak. The system on Thursday is also looking pretty weak, but still giving us a chance for some showers. Friday into that next weekend, we've got high pressure building in, which means warmer temperatures again and dry as well. But when I say warmer temperatures, we're not talking 90s. We're still talking temperatures in the 80s. So looking at the long range, when we kind of combine that Wednesday and Thursday total, most of it to the north and west, and we could see maybe a little bit more making its way into the valley and in the eastern mountains. But bottom line, as you can see, it just doesn't look like we're going to see a ton of rainfall out of these systems passing through. But temperatures are dropping and any chance for rain is always going to be a welcome sight. So there's the area of low pressure off for a west. I did point that out on the satellite image that is moving eastward. And then there you can see Saturday, it starts to weaken. High pressure starts to settle back in for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. That's going to be the bump up in those temperatures as we go into early next week. Then this trough of low pressure, cooler air associated with it, riding mainly to our north, but it will clip Northern California, giving us not only the cooler temperatures, but even a chance for showers toward the middle and latter part of next week. And then there you can see that root of high pressure building in behind that towards the end of next week, which means, yes, warmer temperatures again. So there's your forecast for today, mainly staying out of the 90s in the valley, mid to upper 80s for today. You've got 70s for most of the higher elevations, although in parts of Trinity County, like Weaverville, Hayfork, low 80s, low to mid 80s for the inland areas and for the coast temperatures in the low 60s. So as we look at your seven day outlook, what we're seeing here is of course, there's temperatures continuing to drop. By Saturday, I've got that chance, wording of chance in there. Now, again, I expect most of it, as you saw in future casts, will be late Friday night, early Saturday morning. Otherwise, Saturday fairly dry with mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures increasing, drying out as well for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Then maybe another chance with cooler temperatures by the middle to latter part of next week. For the coast, inland and Weaverville, of course, the coast, low to mid-60s. Chance on Saturday, another chance by Wednesday. And for the inland areas, also that chance for Saturday and uh, Wednesday of next week. Weaverville temperature is struggling to get out of the 60s by the time we get into uh, your Saturday, but back to the upper 70s and low 80s by Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Let's take you out to Siskiyou County, Modoc County in the Eastern Mountains. And again, we're seeing temperatures drop going back up and then dropping again. And when those temperatures drop, we're also looking at that chance for showers. That is your afternoon update. I'll be back at six o'clock this evening for your latest forecast.